I've never found someone who does something similar to me. Nobody who's doing it from paper. People are saying this guy must be strange. They are just seeing me like a freak. But that's very rare. Usually people are very amazed by my work. One day, I think it was my eighth birthday, I got a paper model kit from my dad. And after a few other kits, I tried to, to start my own designs. In total, I made about 40 cars. This is the Infinity Red Bull RB7. And yeah, this is also the car which actually changed my life. The RB7 consists of about 6,500 parts. If you could look under the engine, you would see water pumps, oil pumps, the springs and anti-roll bar and so on. The straps in the seats are made from Christmas presents, a ribbon. It is one of the few parts on the car which is not from paper. It was also just a hobby for me. There was nobody who was really interested in, in the cars. When I started my blog, after about two months, I got the first article in a magazine. I set up a letter to write Red Bull and show them what I've done. But I never sent this letter off because the car wasn't finished. About three days later, I got an email from Infinity Red Bull Racing's chief designer, Rob Marshall, where he told me he's very, very impressed by my model. And he invited me for an interview at the uh, Formula One factory. And I read the email. I read it again and again, and suddenly I thought, this cannot be real. I was alone at home, and I was just running through the house, screaming, shouting. And now I'm working in the world's best Formula One team. I'm working now in uh, composite design within the wing design group and designing mainly parts for the front wing, rear wing, basically all over the car. I'm bonding together parts on my desk at home for my models and I'm doing basically the same at the factory. The best thing to work at Red Bull is that it's basically my hobby. <laughs>